Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from an abandoned mineshaft in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. In the previous episode, we were, we were pillaging this abandoned mineshaft for plankage, fencage, and other freaking loots. And man, that was probably the craziest intro that I've ever done. I got two arrows up in my brain, one arrow in my bits, and, no, and undoubtedly an arrow in my freaking bottle. Ladies and gentlemen, it is episode 99 of season 3. The last episode before the final episode of this season. And man, I am so freaking excited. Sit back and relax, my cyber diggity dogs. Let's play some Minecraft survival! Okay, <laughs> there we go. Uh, unexpected intros, that is what that is called. Now guys, oh man, since you were last with me, I have been pillaging the jazz out of this abandoned mine shaft. Have a look at my inventory, man. I have got a butt tonnage of oak wood plankage, of fences, I've got a little bit of gold, a couple of chests, a stack of iron ore, I've converted all of our string that I picked up in the previous episode into wool, but 22 blocks of wool, we need more wool though, we're going to definitely need more wool to make a lot of bunk beds for Silkworm Gang Island, uh, I picked up a, a stack of coal, a couple stacks of uh, uh, rails also, and we are getting waylaid by enemies today, damn, take it butthole, Woo. man, this is, this, is, this is the most intense first three minutes of a Rendog video that I've ever recorded. And we are almost ready to return back to Silkworm Gang Island, guys. I can't wait to get back because I want to accessorize all of the buildings in the Silkworm Gang Village. I want to plant some freaking melons. I want to finish off some of the rooms in the fort. And man, <laughs> it's ridiculous, right? The next episode is episode 100, guys. Can you freaking believe it, man? Now, I have been <laughs> wandering around this mine shaft. I've pillaged most, most of it. I don't have any more space in my inventory for any more freaking items, except for maybe a few more rails over here. And I have discovered a cave spider spawner over there, and I want to take it down to Chinatown because I want to get all of the silk that's up in there, man. And uh, what I want to do to open up this episode is try and take down this cave spider spawner without freaking dying. And, um, what's awesome is there's this water source over here, which is kind of messing up the pathing of these freaking spiders. Which means we can basically harvest them for their, uh, for their string, which is pretty sweet. But if we can just get into the string infested tunnel, we're going to get a butt ton of string anyway, without having to kill any of these bottles. So, uh, there is the, the spawner itself. we got to try and get as close to it as possible without dying to these freaking cave spiders. There we go. I think we've got one more bit of cobweb to get through over there. All right. There we go. We've got a clear vision of the spawn now, guys. Let's take it down to Chinatown. Die, bastard. Die, bastard. Oh, God. Oh, God. They were not happy with that. Jeez, man. How many of these things have just spawned? No, no. Not good. Not good. Not good. We are... We have to eat. Not good. Ooh, doggy. All right, we can do this, man. We can do the cyber dogs. We are so close to killing that spawner. Check it out, man. It is right there. Although, um, this is getting precariously close to death. Whew. Okay, let's regroup. <laughs> oh, God. Incoming. Incoming. All right, there we go. All right, let's regroup some diggity dogs. We need to get in range of that freaking spawner right now so that we can take it out. We also need to deal with any cave spiders coming out of it. And there's quite a few of them. But this water is messing with them. Except when they connect with my butthole like that. That is not good, man. That is not good. And I can hear another spider scurrying around here somewhere. I think he's down there. But that's like a... That's like a big-ass spider over there, man. Collect this cobweb. Oh. Oh my goodness. Half a freaking... Half a... Half a heart! It is hiding time. <laughs> man. Half a heart left, people. And an arrow in the brain. I mean, come on. Oh god, incoming. Incoming! I, I just want to get your silk. Can't you just give me some of your freaking silk out of your butthole? And then we don't have to do this dance? We don't have to do this dance of death? Alright, here we go. This is looking good. This is looking good. What, see, what we have to do is approach without getting poisoned, right? So we've got to take it like a step at a time. There we go. Alright. There we go. Now we're getting closer. Now we're getting closer. 
Now we're cooking with gas. Oh god. I can hear a ton of them. Come on, baby. Die. Die, 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 die. Please die. Oh god. Oh god. Um, that was close. But not quite there. <laughs> I think we might have to approach this from a different angle, my friends. I think we're going to have to try and, like, maybe go over and above th this place. Because this doesn't seem to be working over here, man. So I think what we're probably going to need to do is make, like, a little tunnel like this, right? The water is messing with those spiders, so they're not, not going to be able to get to us. And what we need to do is... Maybe approach the, the spawner from a different angle. Like this. Okay, this is going to work. This is going to work right over here. Check it out. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, that, that didn't quite work as planned. And this is not going well, is it? All right. We can do this, man. Half a heart, half a heart. Okay. Whew. Let's just relax. Let's just take it easy. Just watch our back. And I think we're getting close now. All right, we can do this, man. We got to get in there. We got to get in there. We got to get in there. Oh my goodness, how many freaking spiders are here, man? Where is the freaking spawner? I think it's over here somewhere, right? Yes, there it is. All right, I can see it. Take it out. Take it out, take it out. Come on, there we go. Ooh, damn, that was intense, man. That was freaking intense, damn. But victory is mine, bastards. Now give me all of your silk. Uh-oh. All right, here we go, here we go. All right, guys, I can't believe uh, that actually worked, man. <laughs> I, was I was pretty much 100% sure we are going to die in this episode uh, at the beginning. Because you know how I am with these freaking spawners, man. Oh, there's a Skelebutt in there, though. If he hits us with an arrow, we are toast. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <sighs> Too freaking close for comfort, man. That's what that is. And you know what the real problem is? We don't have any freaking torches, man. That's the real, that's the real issue up in here. Is there another cave spider spawner around here somewhere? It feels like there might be another one. I mean, look how many freaking cave spiders there are up in this jazz, man. I've been hit. There's Charlie everywhere. Tell my mama I loved it. Well, it certainly does look like there's another cave spider spawner up in here, guys. Uh-oh. No, not good, not good, not good. Well, we managed to pick up 29 string from this little cave spider spawner siege, I guess is what it's called. But I want more, man. I want more freaking string. All right, Cyberdogs, we have managed to pick up 32 string, which we're going to turn directly into wool. That's going to give us 30 wool, which is going to give us about 10 beds. That is still not enough freaking woolage. We need more wool, man. So what I'm going to try and do is besiege this cave spider spawner see if we can get ourselves a little bit more wool man but things are looking precarious we are running out of bread there is definitely another cave spider spawner up in here somewhere and it is killing me and i cannot freaking get close to it man um but i'm gonna try my best to try and siege this area looks like there's just i mean it could have just been like a, a oh no there it is i can freaking see it man look at it there it is let's get some welder down here i think that's going to mess with those freaking spiders big time. And then they're not going to be able to, to actually move properly if there's water. They're not going to be able to attack us. Yes, this could actually work. This could actually work. We don't have any torture up in here though, man. Oh god. I just trapped myself. <laughs> Alright, Cyberdogs. Welcome back. I've managed to spot where the other spawner is. Check it out. It is down there. And we just need to get our buttholes close to that thing. I've also put our bucket of water down here which is messing with these cave spiders uh pathing they can't actually get to us which is epic which means i might be able to take down this spawner oh my goodness we're so freaking close no i've been hit i've been hit 
Tell my mama I won't be home for Christmas. There we go. We have direct access to it. Comply. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, man. That was intense. Man, there better be a chest around here or something. Ooh, check out this little congregation of string over here. Um, let's collect all of the string. Um, I turned some of the other string that we had into, uh, into wool already. So we actually have quite a lot of wool up in here now. 30 wool, but we're gonna collect all of the string, man. I want all the wool that I can get. Is there another cave spider spawner in here? I don't think I've ever seen three cave spider spawners in one place. There is a chest over there, though. Nope, this is it, man. This is the end. This is the end of the line. So sweet. And there is a chest over here. Dear Lord, please give us something sweet. Kaplam. Oh, more gold, more coal, and some pumpkin seeds. That's epic. We can further diversify. I'm just going to leave the chest, man. We don't need to, we don't need to take these chests. I'm going to further diversify the diet of the Sulkum gang. Now, they've got pumpkins, melons, and wheat, man. We are vegetarian. <laughs> we are vegetarian gang <laughs> oh man that is epic well there we go man another 33 silk collected from this little cave spider spawner tunnel thing and i think that's probably that's probably going to be more than enough string i reckon let's check it out let's convert all of this string into wool so that's another 15 wool that's 44 wool um which is what divided by three uh <laughs> it's more than 10 beds <laughs> it's definitely more than 10 beds so um i think that will do actually i think it's probably about time we we head on home um there's a whole bunch of fire down here though i want to check out what the jazz is going on down here man what in the name oh no that probably wasn't a good idea setting oneself on fire never a good idea <laughs> Oh, man. Um, well, I think that's, yeah, man, that's definitely going to be enough beds, I reckon. So why don't we why don't we try to get our buttholes home, guys? I've been down in this abandoned mine shaft forever. It feels like forever now. I'm going to try to find my way home now. Uh, get back to Silkum Gang Island. Get back to the Silkum Gang Village and um, start to freaking... Oh, uh, creeper! Creeper! And start to accessorize the place! Kaplooey! And install some bunk beds too, man. Is that a chest? This is a chest over here, people! I mean, I know it's ridiculously dark right now. In fact, we should probably pick up a torch. Yeah, let's pick up this one. Uh, what can we drop, man? Oh, no! Back up, son! Back up! Ow! You blew up my torch, you butthole! Alright, well, we'll pick up this one instead. <laughs> oh man uh never in my wildest dreams did i think that this adventure was going to turn out to be so freaking intense my friends this has been some serious fun going up in here um but i am quite anxious to get out of here though uh I, I can kind of feel like death is imminent right now you know there's been a lot of failing going on and i need to get my butt out of here man but here we go here's another chest dear lord give us something sweet Kapla! oh three diamonds oh, i'm gonna take those for shizzle we don't need the coal. We've got a, a whole stack of iron also. We don't really need the iron. Yeah, this is good, man. I'm happy with what we got over here. All right, guys. I'm going to try and find my freaking way out of this mine shaft. Um, I think I have a general idea of where to go uh, to get back to that staircase. And on the other side of this kaplam, guys, we will be back in Silkum Gang Village accessorizing the jazz out of it. See you on the other side of this kaplam, my friends. Kaplam! Ah, Silkworm Gang Island Damn, am I happy to see you. Jeez, man, guys, it has been an intense adventure. And man, we have managed to gather a ridiculous amount of loot. But now it's time, guys, to head back to Silkworm Gang Island for the last time in Season 3. You know what? I can't even believe that I'm saying that, man. I can't, I can't believe that this is Episode 99 of Season 3. And it's been basically about a year of this season man that is that is just that is just cray cray seriously that, that that's just absolutely cray right there man <laughs> um and you know i'm so freaking happy with how silkum gang island has turned out it's basically finished i mean it's i it's not 100 percent finished but uh what Randog project is 100 percent finished let's face it <laughs> but it is as close to finished as close to finished as i would have liked to get in this season um, oh, and by the way, before I went on that adventure, I planted a whole bunch of reeds over here. So I want to make some paper, man. I want to make some bookshelves. Like, 
you know, we want to accessorize the Silk of Gang Island with a whole bunch of sweet jazz, man. So I'm just collect all of this jazz. Um, but yeah, I mean, we literally, as far as infrastructure goes, most of Silkworm Gang Island is now complete. There's no more buildings or anything else that I want to build. We built the railway station. We built the platform. We built the houses for the, the Silkworm Gang members. We built the treehouse, the battle room, my bedroom, like a box room. I mean, we built we built everything that we could ever imagine that we ever wanted in, on, uh, on Silkworm Gang Island. And it's all turned out so nicely, man. I'm just, I'm so stoked. I'm so freaking stoked, man. And you know, I'm so, so glad also that a ton of you guys have been enjoying this project with me. It's been so awesome. Like the feedback that you guys have been giving me, the comments that you guys have been leaving. It's just been so, so awesome. And uh, yeah, episode 99, man. <laughs> the third episode 99 in this Let's Play Minecraft series. Can you freaking believe it? Absolutely crazy. Um, we can't make paper like this, right? No. No, 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 no. All right. Well, that's fine. We've got two stacks of reeds, man. That should be more than enough. Anyway, let, I'm going to get back up into uh, Silkum Gang Village, guys. And we're going to proceed with today's, the next part of today's episode. And that is, of course, building some sweet-ass accessories for the Silkum Gang Fort. I'll see you guys after this. Kaplow! <laughs> Kaplow! All right, Cyber Diggity Dogs, welcome back to the Silkworm Gang Village. And as you can see, things are peaceful. Things are tranquil. Things are viney, and this village is looking absolutely freaking sweet, man. Before I went off on that adventure, guys, I did a whole bunch of maintenance work around here. As you can see, the village is basically complete. What I actually had to do was put a whole bunch of fence, a whole bunch of fences around this place because the NPCs or the gang members were actually climbing up the vines, climbing up the trees, and getting stuck in weird places. They were also climbing up onto the, the wall. Uh, via this staircase over here. So I added this door over here to stop them climbing up here because uh, they were coming up here and getting stuck in the corners and trying to jump over the fences and basically just noobing out all over the show. So only only we can now get onto the wall, um, which, is the, which is the way that I like it. Although I haven't put a button on this side, it seems. Um, but I've also, as you can see, added fences everywhere to try and stop these villagers getting stuck. And the, the Silkworm Gang village is now basically 100% secure. And uh, it's looking freaking sweet, man. I've also, I used bone meal to grow a whole bunch of plants and flowers and bushes and stuff around here. So, man, this place is just looking pimp McDaddy. And I think what I want to do is try and make some, some, how do, how do you even make paper? I can't even remember. It's like this, right? Yeah, there we go. Let's turn all of this jazz into paper. So we can make some books. So wheat, and we'll put the rest of the stuff away. I think what I want to do is, is make some food though. I need a bit of bread, right? So I think what I want to do is just plant some pumpkins. Yeah, let's 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 plant some pumpkins up in here, man. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin. So that'll be our pumpkin patch. And we can plant like a little melon patch too over here from the melon seeds that we collected. It's pretty sweet, man. Melon, 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 melon. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Um, there we go. Let's make a little bit of bread though. Do we have any wheat left? Yeah, we still, we've got a, a stack of wheat over here. So that is sweet. Managed to basically eat all of my bread on that adventure. So let's just make a little bit more bread over here. So Sweet. There we go, man. And I think we could probably drop off our pumpkin seeds and whatnot in here. Let's just drop off all of this jazz in here, man. Put our wheat in here. And our reeds in here, too. And now, guys, what I want to do is get down to the serious business of... Uh, I, 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 I'm trampling my crops right now. So, let's try not to break the brand new croppers that I've just planted around here. Uh, but what I want to do is accessorize each of these rooms over here. And I've already added um, these th these bits of slabbage over here to represent where I want the bunk beds to go. And in each of the houses, we basically have a whole bunch of slabbage uh, ready for bunk beds. And I also want to add bookshelves and probably chests also. So I think what we probably need to do is, hmm, if we head in here, do I have a chest in here? No, we don't have a chest in here. So I think what we should probably do first is make a couple of chests. And I think we'll add a chest to this uh, main room over here. Get out of the way, butthole. And let's just drop off some of the stuff here, right? Let's just give ourselves a little bit of space to work with. 
I can sort all of this jazz out after this episode. There we go. And I think what we're going to start with is making a few beds. So let's make a whole bunch of beds. As many beds as we can. 14 beds. Sweet. And uh, let's go get these beds installed, shall we? <laughs> and if we go into the first house over here, you can see, I think, yeah, these are the locations that I would like the bunk beds. So let's get some bunk beds installed. One, two, and let's put another one up here. Come on, baby. Three. <laughs> oh, man, this is awesome. Four. There we go. No, this, is, this one's facing the wrong way. There we go, man. This is the first little bunk bed cavern of the Silkworm Gang Island. Sweet. Let's go into this one. We've got a couple bunk beds here. <laughs> that looks so sweet, man. And uh, let's get up to the second story premium apartment up here. Hmm. I think we'll probably... Let's do like a double bed over here, right? Let's make a, like a double bed for this apartment. And man, even after getting all of that freaking string, we already... we I don't even know if we're going to have enough beds to completely accessorize Silkum Gang Island. This is going to be like an armory or like a... Yeah, I think we should put all of our chests in there, actually. Here we go, man. We've got a couple more bunk beds up in here. Come on, you bunk butthole! Oh, here we go. Sweet. <laughs> Vineage for the win. Stick one more in here. There we go. Man, this this is the most this is the most awful uh, accommodation on Silk in Silkum Gang Village, man. Check how crammed it is in here. Damn, you can't you don't even have space for your suitcase up in here. We've got two beds left. Two beds left and four spaces available. <laughs> it's just not enough bedage. Well, I think we'll I think we'll probably because we still need to put a bed in that um, that room over there, right? So I think what we should probably do is is make this a one bed bungalow. This can be like the the room of the matron. In fact, we could probably give her a little bit more space. Let's let's interior in, interior decorate this place a little bit better. There we go. And we can add this final bed to the very first house over here. And what we can also do now, guys, is deal with our OCD issue, right? And you know what you know what issue that is. <laughs> that is the issue of this Dell. Let's take this door down. And uh, we got to get rid of all of the other doors also. Remember, these doors were brought onto the island from, from a foreign land. And we are not allowed to use these doors. But now that we've gathered a ridiculous amount of plankage from that abandoned mine shaft, we can make our own freaking doors, man. We can get rid of these ones. So let's head up to my bedroom of the Silkum Gang Island Fort. And uh, man, I, you know what? I, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe we are approaching... The freaking end right now, man. Where did I where did I put all those freaking doors? Here they are. All right. Well, these doors, we no longer need you. Get out of my freaking life. And I think what we're gonna do is just chuck them into the ether. Let's just let's just throw them out of here, right? Get out of my life. Get out of my life, doors. And there goes OCD for about 2,000 Cyberdogs. Sweet. <laughs> and uh, let's just have a sleep also. Oh my goodness. What a freaking crazy, crazy day of Minecraft it has been, guys. And uh, we still have quite a lot of work to do, though, in Silkum Gang um, Village down here. Let's head back down here and uh, start working on some of the stuff that we still need to accessorize this place with. Let's collect some of... Where did I put all of that weed? Oh, I stuck it all in here, right? There we go. Here's all of the weird. I think what I want to do is make a whole bunch of chests. Let's make 16 chests. And then let's make this the box room, right? Hmm. How can we do this? How about like that? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. And now we can move all of this, all of this stuff that we've got in here also into there. Let's pick up all of this loot. This room is going to be like the treasure, the treasure trove of Silkum Gang Island. Let's put all crafting materials in this chest, like this. Let's put all like sweet ass loots in this chest. 
That's a sweet ass loot chest. Let's put like tools and whatnot in this chest. And let's put like consumables and everything else in this chest, right? There we go. That's pretty sweet. Oh, put that put that wool in there too. Nice! Oh, that's epic. Alright, so next up, we probably need to keep for ourselves some of this wood though, so we can make some stuff. I think I want to try and make some like some bookshelves. And some books. How do we make books again? Oh wait, we need leather for books, don't we? Yeah. Dang it! <laughs> not gonna make any not gonna be able to make any bookshelves, unfortunately. Um I haven't there there are no cows on Silkum Gang Island. None that I've seen anyway. Well, we can add a couple of chests in here, right? Let's add like a chest at the foot of this bed. It's pretty sweet. We add like a like a crafting table up in here. There we go. That looks pretty awesome. And in here we can add like a nice big chest and a crafting table. Sweet. And in the premium apartment, we'll add like a couple of chests, a couple of bedside chests on either side. That's pretty awesome. Let's head down to like the matron bungalows. Um, there's not really any space for anything up in here, man. Just add like a chest in the middle there. And in this one, we can add a chest. A couple of crafting tables. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Alright, Cyberdogs, welcome back. Our brand new crops are slowly starting to sprout, as you can see. And I've just been running around accessorizing the houses of Silkum Gang Village. What I want to do now is add the doors to the actual houses themselves. Uh, although I'm not going to make a bunch of doors, I'm just going to make... Uh, I'm not going to actually add the doors, I mean, to the the houses we're just gonna put them into the chests right because i only want to make new villages when minecraft 1.8 comes out which is going to happen incidentally in season four uh, which makes me really really happy but for now i think what i'm going to do is just make the doors so now that we know our doors have been made on silkum gang island they are homegrown doors i'm going to add them to the chests of each of um, the apartments over here and when 1.8 comes out we can come back to silkum gang village and uh, we can add all of the doors to all of the different houses and start spawning a whole bunch of new villages which is gonna be freaking sweet man and uh i think we could probably add a door no we'll, we'll, we'll stick the door in here um i don't want to add any more doors doors plus villages equals uh time to get busy getting busy you know what i'm saying man and the more doors you have the more villages that you um that you actually spawn so there we go man every single house in silkum gang village now has a door let's drop off the rest of this jazz into our uh box room over here and uh what i'm going to do is transfer all of the stuff from the silkum gang island fort into uh the into the box room over here or the treasure room i guess that's that's what this is called and uh, once that is done, basically Silkum Gang Island is going to be complete. I'm also going to accessorize the different rooms of the Silkum Gang Fort itself. And uh, once I finish that, guys, I'm going to bring you back on the other side of this Kaplam. And we're going to say, you know, goodbye, basically, to Season 3. Because next episode is Episode 100, and it is going to be a special episode. So, kind of crazy what's going down up in here, man. But I'll see you guys on the other side of this Kaplam. Kaplam! All right, Cyberdogs, welcome back. I have been working on the Silkum Gang Island Fort for the last 15 minutes or so, but I've got to tell you something, guys. I've had a pretty uneasy feeling in my stomach while I've been working, and I, I realized something that I wanted to share with you. And what I realized is that I don't want this project to finish. This project, which we started at the beginning of Season 3, is in many ways a metaphorical representation of the staircase that I have been climbing for the last year or so. And you know what? I don't think I'm quite ready to end it. I don't think I'm quite ready to, you know, close the door on Silkum Gang Island, to close the door on this part of my life just yet. And I think that for the purposes of my own soul, I'm going to leave Silkum Gang Island as it is now. I'm going to leave Silkum Gang Island about... 95% finished. And that's because I think that this particular stair of my staircase is about 95% climbed. And I kind of want to keep it that way. So yeah, that's what I've been thinking, guys. You know, Silkum Gang Island is looking amazing. 
it's in fact one of the most complete projects that we've done and we've even got some melons that have started to sprout over there man that is so freaking sweet and you know what guys in season four i want to come back here man this place is so freaking awesome like why why would i want to finish it now and, and never come back again so you know what guys there are a few of the rooms in the fort that still need to be finished there's a few uh like ocd issues that need to be dealt with around here I still need to get a few more bones so that I can plant a few more plants around here and get get stuff growing and get stuff looking absolutely awesome. And of course, we still need to spawn some new gang members when 1.8 uh, arrives. So you know what? I'm going to leave Silkworm Gang Island just as it is. In all of its 95% finished glory. And when I think back to when we started this project, literally, we were standing next to this sign. And all there was was like a tree over here and this tree over here and basically an untouched mountain. Look at what we've been able to create, guys. Look, has, look at what has come since the last, well, over the last year or so. What we've managed to tear out of our imaginations. Man, I'm so proud of this project, guys. And I really hope you guys have all enjoyed this. I really hope you guys have all enjoyed Season 3 as much as I have. And uh, I really hope that you guys are going to be with me for Season 4. Because let me tell you something. I cannot wait to get started on Season 4, man. I've got so many freaking plans for Season 4. I'll make your head explode. But uh, I guess for the last time from Silkwim Gang Island in Season 3, this is Ren Diggity Dog saying goodbye. Not goodbye forever, but goodbye for now. And thank you guys so freaking much for watching this episode and for watching this series. And for being with me every freaking step of the way up my own staircase. Thank you, all of you guys. And, uh, man, I will see you in the next video. Episode 100 special. And then you know what happens, guys? Season 4 begins. It's gonna be freaking sweet. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It's been Ren Diggity Dog playing Minecraft Survival. Episode 99 of Season 3. Unbelievable. We'll see you in the next video, my friends. Goodbye, everybody!